Okay. What the hell was that? Hello. Adam, thank God. So, can we talk now? Yes. I have a couple of questions. Sure, sure. About that data you sent me. Yeah? Was that you? Yes. Did you? Yes, that's right. It's a, a piece of data from my life. Why can I experience it? How did you do that? I have access to a database, but the data is encrypted and virtual. The data can only be played virtually where you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, where are you, did you say? In Berlin. In reality, the physical world. Uh, I don't know a Berlin. Is that like a VR or something? It's reality. Your city is a VR. <laughs> My city isn't real. You're not real. Okay. That is insane. I'm hanging up. Adam, you have a family, right? Just like me. Yes. And I have to take care of them. John, my son, he isn't doing too well. That's terrible. What's wrong? He has to go to a clinic every day. Is he sick? He's upset. I had a cab accident, and his mother isn't here. She's working. A cab? What happened? I don't remember. Like I said, an accident. You didn't have an accident, Adam. These are echoes from my memory. They've probably been modified. I had an accident. You understand? It was horrible. Tracy, she... She was with me in the car. Tracy? My wife. Does the name mean nothing to you? My wife is called Amy. But... There was a Tracy... Uh, in that... Uh... Tracy? You saw Tracy? Where? When? Talk to me, Adam. Tell me everything. Did Tracy say anything? Did you notice anything? Kurtz. Dr. Kurtz. In a wheelchair? Raymond Kurtz, yeah. And? What does he have to do with Tracy? Tracy and Kurtz were talking. He wanted her for a project. A genetic study. A genetic study? Nothing else? No. Look around. There has to be another data set somewhere. Listen, I don't think... Send it to me. The more fragments you see, the better. Sorry. I have to go now. Who were you talking to? What? Oh, just a hive call. It was... I don't know. Some guy called Richard. Were you mad at him? Mad? No. Just a difficult guy. Hmm. Kurtz. Maybe Walter isn't that crazy after all. You have new cloud messages. Hey, Richard, it's me, Jenny. Call me back, okay? Do you know what, Richard? Screw you! Have a nice life with your model! Hey, Jenny. Thanks for the message. Here I am. Richard, thanks for calling me. Listen, I'm getting worried now. Have you heard anything at all? Nothing. Steve is helping out. I'm very thankful. Yeah. Listen, Richard, I wanted to apologize. I wasn't very nice to you on Sunday. It's okay. Neither was I. It was all a bit too much for me. I was pretty exhausted. So are you doing any better? Health-wise, I mean. I think it's going to take a while. My memory, you know, a lot has come back to me, but there are also things... I might go back to the doctor again. Hey, can I ask you something, Richard? Something personal? Sure. Do you love Tracy? Well, what kind of a question is that? You know us, Jenny. We have James. We're a family. No, that's not what I mean. Of course I love her. How could you think... Wait a second. Are you in contact with Tracy? Is this her idea? 
What? She wants you to feel me out. That's what's going on. No? What for? What do I know? Maybe she wants to know if it's worth coming back to me. Or maybe she wants revenge. Just wants to make me suffer. Richard... Or she probably wants you to oversee the breakup. Tell me she's leaving me in stages. Hey, are you completely insane? You're in this together. You're not calling because you care about me. <laughs> okay, Richard, this is just too stupid for me now. Oh yeah, for me too. <laughs> you really need to see a doctor. Let me know when you're feeling better. Hi, Steve. And? How was it in Doomsday? Did you clear up your expiration? More or less. What about that man in my apartment? Did you make progress with a database? Okay, Richard, listen to me. I, I don't know if it'll help you now, but I put his movement profile into MoveScan. Who is it? I don't know. If for some reason this database is coming up with more than one match. I thought movement profiles were unique, like fingerprints. Well, if you ask me, this whole MoveScan stuff doesn't work. Can we meet up? I know you have a lot on your plate, but I have to know if you found anything out about the man Tracy was with. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm at the office. Help our authorities fight illness and disease. to talk to you Steve do you yes I I think I have some real problems actually buddy I knew that already hey Richard can't stay away huh hey Richard listen to me I want to talk to you okay not here though come with me sure Is this about Jennifer? If you know already, why didn't you come to me? Okay, wait. I'm the bad guy here. You snap at my wife, blame her and accuse her with crazy conspiracy theories? She is the one with the crazy theories. Of course, it's always the others. She accused me of having an affair. And what am I supposed to say? Thanks for your support, Jenny. Please say hi to Steve. Didn't you see the tape? Tracy left me. I don't care about all that. Whatever happened to you, it's no excuse for attacking your friends. You don't have that many. Now, if you keep going on like this, you'll have even fewer. Steve, I'm sorry, okay? Don't tell me. Tell Jenny. What about the research? Will you still help me? Steve, please. You have no idea what I... Yeah, just cut it out. You had an accident, yes, I get it. But you also had a life before your damned accident. You try to get it back in order. That's exactly what I'm trying. Listen, I will help you, but I'm doing it for your family. For Tracy and the kid, okay? Okay. Good. Come with me. Come on, let's find your family. Okay, Steve. Are these the move scan results? You know we can both go to jail for this, right? Let's start with the best matches. 84.3. Philippos Christos something. Yilmaz. One. 99.6%. 99.7. Curtis. Peter. Best match so far. There. 
That's a hit. Stanley White. Does he have a profile? Yep. With a cloud contact and everything. He's from here, see? Berlin. Okay. He, he looks different to the man in the video. Yeah. Strange. I'll still call him, though. Something else, Steve. Do you have any material regarding Kurt's labs in the archives? Oh, don't tell me you're starting with that, too. I just want to check something. Sure. That's what Walter said. All that stuff is with him. Has been for ages. I see. I had no idea what he... Um, what he's been doing since he... went solo. I wonder why that was. I should talk to him again. Hey, Walter. May I... May I interrupt you for a second? Oh. Hi, Richard. What are you doing now? Researching. Uh, what about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on, Richard, stop it. We haven't worked together in an age. Do you know the last time you were in this office? It's been a while, I know. Four years. That long already? <laughs> You know, at some point, I just couldn't muster the courage to walk in here. I thought you were angry at me. You did? Yes. Because... Because I left you hanging. Oh, stop talking crap, Richard. Frank put me out the pasture, and you, you had more important things to do. That's not true, and you know it. Whatever. Why are you here? Small talk? If you like. How's Tracy? Uh, what's the kid up to? How's your career? Walter, please. What? Are we doing small talk or not? Tracy and James have disappeared. I'm looking for them. Hmm. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? <laughs> Forget it. You know I'm a bit mad. Everybody does. I need your help, Walter. <laughs> Go ask Frank. He'll help you, I'm sure. He fired me. Really? Well, Richard, that's how it is. Everybody's time comes. Walter, listen. You've done research on Kurt's labs in the past, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Do you still have the files? Well, you're too late. There are things in motion that can't be stopped anymore. I don't get it. What, what things? <laughs> you know, Richard, I've been doing a lot of thinking these past years. I used to think life was about finding the truth or getting justice or whatever. It's not? No, it's about life. Life and living. You just got to be on the correct side. Uh-huh. And what is the correct side? We're all mortal. Sooner or later, we all die. And then what? A gravestone, a bunch of paperwork, some data. Okay, and? There are always two sides to every story, here and beyond. Life and death. One and zero. A binary system, you understand? <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> you will. You're just taking your first steps. Frank's right. You're actually insane. When you look into the mirror, Richard, what do you see? Walter, listen. What do you think you see yourself? No. What you see is matter. Nothing more. It's not you. It's completely replaceable. You gotta get out more, Walter. Interact with some people. Well, you could be right. You know what? 
I will get out of here. Very soon, in fact. That's good. Very good. Do you still have that house by the lake? I'd like to come visit you someday. The house? Yeah, but I... I don't need it anymore. Why not? Where are you going? You, you're not planning anything stupid, Walter. Don't worry about me. Walter, about Tracy and James. I'm worried. Really worried. They'll be fine. They'll take care of themselves. And you will too. Listen, it's my family we're talking about. Oh, why? You didn't seem to care about them before. Family, friends. I mean, you never had any time for anybody. Look, I'm sure Tracy knows what she's doing. How can you say such a thing? I understand that you're disappointed, but... You're portraying me as some sort of monster. These files... Can you even make sense of that mess? They're not important anymore. Okay, but what is all this? It just doesn't look... healthy. Anatomical studies, neural networks, chemical formulas, architectural models... What the hell is going on, Walter? Are you writing some crazy diary or what? Maybe. But why? What's the meaning of it? I told you, it's not important anymore. You can have it. The whole thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, then... I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Sure. Of course. No, really. I'm coming. According to the developer, the data processing cluster will provide jobs for 200 million. So, what's Walter up to? Still hates me. And what else is new? Drone Gate, Steve. It's all about Drone Gate, because I won that stupid award. He's got to get out of that stupid hole there. I don't get why Frank isn't doing something about it. Like I was twiddling my thumbs. I was the one getting the whole thing off the ground. Richard, not everything's always about you. Yeah, well, he hates me. Hello? Hi, are you Stanley? My name is Richard Nolan. Nolan? From The Voice? Yep, that's me. How'd you get this number? Huh, <laughs> of course. You're a journalist. What do you want, a story? Or a nice time? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, in person. A story it is. Sure, why not? Good for business. Send me your geolocation. I'll meet you there, okay? <laughs> okay. See you then, Richard Nolan. Thank <laughs> you. 